Yes. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> cravings and addictions and cravings. So, addic you know, uh, addic addictive cravings can be for things like chocolate, sweets, sugar, alcohol, drugs. Uh, cravings can be in relationships, you know, mm -hmm. like you can be love addicted to someone and have a craving to have that person back in your life. Um, you know, cravings can be for video games, for uh, uh, sex, yeah, all kinds of cra cravings. So it's the, it's the field of desiring something to feel okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the craving is like, if I, get, mm -hmm. if I can have this app thing outside of myself, you can have that donut, that alcohol, that drug, that woman, or sex, or play that video game, or be thinner, or be more successful, or have more money, whatever it is, or, um, then I'll feel okay. And to scratch the itch, mm. you have to, like, you have the craving for that external thing. So, this is, you know, the thing that, um, now I've been, I, I joined a food fellowship, 12-step food fellowship, and I also employed um, uh, the things that I learned from my spiritual teachers, uh, Dr. Hawkins and Muji. But the one thing that I, I really realized with cravings is um, that they, it's a finite energy within the ego. So this, this feeling of like, I want something to feel okay, you can feel it all out and then you'll be free of it. You see, you can feel it all out. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, it's like a repressed emotion, similar to a repressed emotion, and while it's there, until you've emptied it all out, it will still have a hold on you. So, I did this, uh, I did a lot of things on my food addiction, but definitely, I would sit with my, talking, I mean, you can do this with alcohol, drugs, sex, whatever, just, but I, when it, every time the, the craving would come, I would sit down, close my eyes, and allow myself to experience it, and not allow myself to go into thoughts, and just, and just empty out that energy until it would pass. Okay. Every opportunity, at every opportunity. And then over time, those, uh, the craving, say for sugar, or it could be anything else, alcohol, drugs, sex, the craving became less intense, mm -hmm. and it was easier to feel it out and they get less and less intense. So, like, uh, you can also do something like the observer. If you're in the middle of an intense craving, try uh, contemplating on the question, what's observing the craving? And is that, be in the place of the observing the craving, and is the, when in the position of the observing of the craving, is the witnesser craving? And you'll find that the witnesser is not craving. So if you can go to the witnesser of the craving, mm -hmm. you'll bust the craving because you'll detach from the energy, you'll no longer be identified with the energy, the feeling, and you'll go to the witness, which is your God consciousness, so it'll collapse the energy field. Um, so I'm now, you know, I haven't acted out on my food addiction, uh, you know, to sugar addiction and stuff for 10 years now. In the last eight years, I've had no body obsession. In the last eight years, I only had one day, a very tiny, food obsessions, essentially eight years of freedom. Yeah. And that's because you just feel, feel it all out. I don't get hunger anymore. You know, hunger, do, hunger doesn't exist because if you just feel that out, it's, it's, it's actually an illusion that there is anything out there that you need. Mm -hmm. When you're in high states of spiritual connection, you're always going to maintain an even peace. Because they're, they're illusory by nature. I mean, people might ask me, uh, well, wouldn't you uh, stop eating if you're not hungry? But for me, it's like things can be done intuitively from a place of peace. They don't need to be done from a place of, I'm in lack, I need to grab something. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's like, I need, you know, I brush my teeth every morning. And it's, it's a neutral, it's a neutral occurrence. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not a thing where the tooth, I have a craving for the toothpaste. <laughs> and therefore, um, I feel like my body needs the toothpaste. And therefore, um, it's that nature of the toothpaste calling me that I, reminds me to brush my teeth every morning. I can't stop thinking, about, stop thinking about the toothpaste. Yes. It's like yeah. I can be in a state of absolute peace in the morning yeah. and have an intuitive thought, mm -hmm. oh, it's good to brush my teeth. And I do that. 
but it's not a thing we're craving or that energy of lack. I'm empty, I need something to do. And when you get to those higher states of consciousness, um, all the things that run the animal start to disappear. Um, so, um, so those higher states of consciousness, one can maintain a state of peace and, and joy and love and connection throughout the day and one is intuitively, uh, spontaneously doing the things that a spirit is intuiting, but you're not being run by the animal cravings in those higher states of consciousness. So uh, one is able to do it. So feeling the feelings, definitely if you've got an addiction, I recommend joining a 12-step group for the relevant addiction. Uh, feel the feeling. But the feeling the feelings and the observer are two extra things uh, which, which can be done on them.